Hi friends, it's Abby here. I hope you're doing great. In this video, we are making some herbal milk bath bombs for postpartum care. And actually you can use these anytime, but I designed them for particularly postpartum care. So you can feel free to use these two weeks after having given birth or otherwise instructed by your doctor of when you can resume baths. So we've got some salts in here, some herbs, some goat milk, a lot of good things that are gonna help you relax and recover after giving birth. So what you're going to need are some of these herbs, some calendula flowers, also some red raspberry leaf tea, and then I'm going to infuse these herbs into this olive oil using my slow cooker to do this set on the low function. And then you're also going to need a glass jar, such as a mason jar. And when you're going to do half and half of these herbs into your jar, and then you're going to fill the jar um, up with the olive oil so that it covers the herbs. And the next thing you're going to do is place it in your slow cooker with some water that is of probably three inches deep. And then you're going to leave this for even up to 48 hours to infuse the oil with the herbs. The longer you keep it in there, obviously the more potent the infusion will be. And now we're going to just strain the herbs from the oil so that all that remains is our nice herb infused oil that we're going to use with our bath bombs. You can press on the herbs just to make sure you get all of those good oils, herb infused oils out. Okay, so now we're just going to set this aside until we're ready to use it. For this next step, you're going to need a large bowl and we're going to add two tablespoons of mineral salt, such as pink Himalayan salt, a half a cup of Epsom salt, one cup of baking soda, a half a cup of cornstarch, and also two tablespoons of goat milk powder. And this goat milk powder has lactic acid in it, which will make your skin feel really soft. And then finally, we're going to add half a cup of citric acid. So this all together is going to make a bath bomb that fizzes up beautifully. If you want, you can also sift these ingredients together, though it's not necessary. And as you can see, it makes a huge mess, but I like how well mixed it is after doing the sifting process. Okay, now we're ready for our wet ingredients. We're going to add four tablespoons of our herb infused oil. And then we're going to add our lavender essential oils, five to 10 drops of this, and this will help heal and to soothe and to relax. We're gonna give that a good stir. Now we're going to just drizzle this over our dry mixture and give that a good mix. And I'd like you to see how this mixes together. These little clumps are fine. You can just try to press them out with your spoon, but as you see, they will not perfectly mix in with the dry ingredients. When you feel you've mixed it as well as you can, we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these calendula herbs, just as much as you think, it's not really measured. And this is more for the beauty aspect of it since we do have the herb infused oil added to this. So you're getting the calendula benefits from that. So this is just to look, look nice in the tub. Okay, at this point we're going to be using filtered water in a spray bottle and you are going to mist this over your mixture and you're going to give it a stir quickly. You don't want to add too much water at one time because it will activate the bath bomb making it fizz before you want it to. So you'll add a little bit, quickly mix, and then you'll add a little bit more and quickly mix again. And the goal is to get the texture to be sort of like wet sand so that when you grab some and you clump it in your hand, it'll sort of hold the form just like this. So now that we have the texture right, we're going to use these bath bomb molds and you'll find a resource for these below. And we are going to pack in each side of these molds with our mixture and make sure to add some and press it down, really pack it in. Okay, now we are going to press these two sides together, really squeeze them in and pack them in tight. Okay, at this point, we are gonna let this rest for at least five minutes so that it will harden enough to be set aside. After our five minutes are up, we are going to carefully take the mold apart to release our bath bomb. And this will need to rest an additional 24 hours. Now, if you have any crazy herbs sticking out, you can trim these with scissors. That's what I ended up doing with this bath bomb. 
and it looks really beautiful when it's all finished. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside and work on our next bath bombs and see how many we can get out of this batch. And here they are. They turned out beautifully, especially after I trimmed the edges. So this is 24 hours later. They're nice and hard. You can wrap them in plastic wrap and then I have free printable labels for you if you would like to make these for a friend or just make them look nice for yourself. And this is a part of my whole postpartum care DIY all natural kit if you would like to check out any of these other projects. These are so nice to come home to to use after the whole process of labor and delivery. It's just kind of nice to have some pampering items. Some of them are my must haves, you know, for postpartum recovery and then the others are just kind of nice to have this bath bomb is kind of a nice to have and would make a great gift for someone well friends thank you so much for joining me today bye